when building the deck, typically I'll focus on like one card. And uh, when I remembered Shadow Sculptor, I remember saying this card is, is like a worse gadget on and, and the uses for it would be pretty minimal. But then I thought after playing Spectral Pillager Invoke combo, uh, this is also a combo card. And I thought, what's the worst thing we could do with this? And obviously it is to generate multiple coins with the, uh, the Spirit of the Shark, which obviously doubles combos and battle cries. Uh, in order to create Yes Rogue, which is just basically uh, generate as much fatigue for yourself as possible. It's called Yes Rogue because there was Yes Paladin and that was basically destroy your own deck. Uh, so without further ado, this is the ultimate in the Yes Rogue turn. Uh, I wanted to get as much fatigue out as uh, as possible. Um, we did it yesterday, end of the season. Um, I won't be doing this again, obviously. It's just, just did it because it was the end of the season. It was a little bit fun. So enjoy. I'm inclined to agree there. Right, here we go. Uh, that's a good one. Oh, not blooming Merlocks. Probably invoke and, and mailock. Justice is mine. Coins are good. Very cool. Lifesteal. Must be everything is awesome, right? That's one mana. No, I think the the deck is all the same from yesterday. I mean, the deck has a 100% win rate in the way that it's meant to have its win rate, which is a loss. I got both sculptors. I have a shadow step. I have my Valera. And I have the. I, it looks. It looks set up. It looks good. Okay. Those little 
time. This. No, I hit that. Play this after because I can't draw too many cards. Justice is mine. in the shadows. Okay, seems good. As long as I keep him on the cusp there, eight HP, and he doesn't top deck bloodlust. I'm nearly, I'm nearly in fatigue. Oh, there you go. That's that's the card he needed. He's just gonna refill his hand and board. I can't really do it right now. Good. Nope, we're pretty much all good for next turn. I'd like to top deck the last, like top deck and the last uh, shadow step would be perfect. I wonder if I could just hold on one more turn for the last shadow step. Worth a little shot. I will 100% do it next turn. I've got 16 armor, so I would have already completed my uh, my combo by then. Okay. Got it. This only works on the simple-minded. Those who serve are Hi YouTube. You're right, lads. And this is the most amount you can do. This is it. Those who serve are paid handsomely. He should now concede to my ultimate power. Those who serve are paid it doesn't get better than this. That's it.
I know how much damage that is. What was it? Oh, I missed it. It doesn't tell me what the fatigue is. Weird. 129 was it? It was 129. Just wanted to see. Usually if I do something stupid, I like to push it to the absolute extreme. What are you saying? Are you saying that's uh, 8358 8 damage? 8385 damage. Well, the thing is though, the illusionist, you have to play, you can't play both obviously, because you'd be dead. You can only play one of these. In order to do that amount of damage, the 8,000 damage, you would need to have Illusionist on board. You couldn't do it without it, otherwise you can never play the second one. I've gained 95 million armor as Druid. I've dealt over 8,000 damage to myself as Rogue. What, what else have we done? We had a two and a half hour game with Shudder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a... 129 fatigue. I thought it would be in the 140 range, but I don't think I had enough coins. Ah, disrespectful. Like, absolutely disrespectful. Not one of my opponents had conceded to my pure power. They didn't even let the fatigue kill me.